I'm Lisa from Active Domestics and I'm going to give you some tips about vacuuming. Um, I'm not going to put the vacuum cleaner on because otherwise you're not going to hear me but I'm going to go through some of the motions that I would do as if I were using the vacuum cleaner. <coughs> Firstly, I see new cleaners who tell me that they have experience with cleaning and they go to use the vacuum cleaner like this. <laughs> That's the quickest way of telling your client that you don't really know what you're doing and also it's going, you're going to have a really sore back when you finish a day's work of cleaning. So always, always, there's a way of extending the handle. In this particular one, I simply slide this thing. In some vacuum cleaners, there's something you've got to turn around. In some vacuum cleaners, there's a little button but there is always a way of extending the pole so that you're not bent over like that. Um, <clears throat> we do live in 2016 after all. So, when you first start vacuuming, particularly if you're using someone else's vacuum cleaner and not your own and you're not very familiar with the um, vacuum cleaner, um, you're going to have to check. I mean, I've been using this vacuum cleaner this morning, so the dust canister is getting quite full, but it's not over full now. Um, and you would probably, well, not probably, you would definitely want to check the filters of the vacuum cleaner that you're about to use, because if the client hasn't maintained their vacuum cleaner very well and you're about to use their vacuum cleaner and you are suddenly using the vacuum cleaner for a lot longer than what a client would have done when they did a quick vacuum here and a quick vacuum there, then you're going to get problems with the vacuum cleaner where it could overheat. So it's just could be a simple case of checking the filters and seeing that there's a little bit of plastic that's in the filter that you can just simply remove or there's a layer of dust that you can actually peel off and throw in the bin, you know, with gloves um, so that you can make the vacuum cleaner work more efficiently. The other thing that you can do is check that the bottom here um, you want to make sure that this is clean. So take that off and actually make sure that there's no staples or anything in the bottom of the brush because if there is, you might be scratching the client's floor. Um, and, you know, as a contractor, you would be liable for then um, for correcting the damage that you've caused. Um, so you want to know how to use vacuum cleaner. Um, you want to know that you can take these sorts of things off because, of course, what I normally do when I first start vacuuming is I'll, oh well, let me, let me do it. <clears throat> so one thing I see people do is they go, where do I start? And they just start anywhere. Well, that's not good enough. You need to start at the furthest place and you need to make sure that you're doing it properly getting all the different places. You move that out of the way and get all in the corners. And then in this instance, put that together properly. In this instance, you could lower that in order to easily get in underneath the couch because you want to make sure, um, that's one of the complaints that I'll sometimes get from clients is that people don't go onto the furniture properly. So, I would not be, I would never move a couch like this and, and even if a client asked me to move a couch that was really heavy, I would actually not do that. But there's certainly ways that you can get underneath things to make sure that you've vacuumed them properly. So once you've, once you've backtracked and you've vacuumed and vacuumed, then this is a good time to actually take that nozzle off and then you can carefully come back and get into the corners that, and the skirting boards, this particular vacuum cleaner, it's actually, um, it's, it's not really a metal there, it's kind of like a protected metal. So yes, you've got to know what machine you're using because some of them have got sharp edges, you wouldn't be able to do that. But on this one, it's not going to scratch and because I'm just doing it really lightly anyway and not really going that close to the surface. But in other instances, you can get the, um, the little brush attachment and you can attach it to that bottom there if you're worried about it scratching and then you can actually use this to dust different areas like that and really get into the corners because that's 
something that I see some cleaners not do properly is use their vacuum cleaner um, properly with all, you know, the vacuum cleaner is not just about this motion, it's about using, you yeah, know, this one is all plastic there, you know, it's using the different tools and using it as a bit of a duster and getting into places. You can dust a lot of things with the, with the vacuum cleaner. Um, the other thing that I see people not do properly is the, around the stairs. Um, so the, the same instance, you would vacuum what you can. Um, normally if there's a mat, you would pick up the edges and vacuum underneath the mat. Um, and if it's a small mat like that, I would even vacuum the mat, then take the mat out and then mop all around the floor and then once it's dry, put the mat back. So um, <clears throat> it's easy to forget different things when you first start and a lot of people will do that process and actually clean underneath it, but they forget the part of going around and checking their work at the end and putting the mat back or putting the chairs back where they go. And so that can be quite annoying to the clients that they've got to come home and then put everything back where it's meant to go. So part of what you need to learn when you first start um, a new job is becoming aware as to where things are and not moving them around, not moving the furniture around so much that you're going to not put things back properly or stuff like that. But basically there is no way you can do an area like this without using you know, all the different sections of your vacuum cleaner and you're getting into the corners, you know, I would normally be standing down here. You know, I've already vacuumed everything. And then I would just use these to get into all the corners like that, you know, and then you can actually do a really thorough job because if you haven't done a thorough job with the mopping, I can tell you, you're going to really notice that when, I mean, if you haven't done a thorough job with the vacuuming, you will really notice that when you come to do the mopping because the mops have a way of pulling out all the little bits of dirt that you, know, you didn't see. <clears throat> so the, um, the entryways, really important. And it's not just the entryways like the, this, this area here.